Hello, in this video let's calculate the consumer and producer surplus when given supply and demand schedules in a table. Okay, So I'm going to use a graphing calculator to make it real easy. Uh, the equilibrium price is going gonna, is gonna to occur where the, in a competitive market where the quantity, equal, quantity supplied equals the quantity demanded. So that's really easy to see. It's just 60, 60, price can be $5. But uh, I want to be able to see this. Maybe I need to post it on a homework or something like that. So uh, what I'm going to do is change this so that instead of being price, price is always going to be in the y-axis. So this is going to be y, and then this is going to be x. We'll call it x1, and this will be x2. Two. So it's like I have two different tables here that I'm then going to graph. Okay, so uh, what I want to do is use the table. Okay, so I went, in, went into graphing calculator. There's my x values and there's my y values. So let's go ahead and do the y values. One, three, two, one. And then the x values. So x1 will be 80, 70. 60, 50, 40, 30, and 20. Okay, and if I zoom out a little bit, I should start to see it. There it is. Okay, and so that probably also implies that uh, 10 is uh, 0. Okay, that's the start of the supply curve right there. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to click on this right here, and then click right there, and then I can draw, I can draw a line. Okay, so that'll be a green line. There's the supply curve right there. And then I want to do the demand curve, which is over here. So I want another table. Okay. And my x values are 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, and 120. And my x values are. And one, and then just like the other one, I want to have it draw a line there instead of red. Let's do orange there. Okay, and now I've got, I'll make this a little bigger. Okay, now I've got the supply and demand uh, functions right here. This one's a little wide, so we can take a picture of it. here. And now if I was labeling it, here's demand, here's supply, equilibrium price where they cross right there. That occurs right at six dollars. So I could draw a line right there. What I'm going to do is I want to know the consumer surplus. So the consumer surplus is the area below the demand curve but above the price. And then the Producer surplus is going to be the area above the supply curve. Whoops, kind of messed up that one there. Above the supply curve, but below the price. So that'll be right there. So these are just going to be two triangles that I want here. So this one right here is one half. Okay, so 30 to 60. So it's 30, the difference between 30 and 60 is 30. And then the difference between 6 and the start of the demand curve. So I can go back to here and see where that is. Demand curve starts at 7. So it's really just really just 1. Oh, you know what? Nice. I was saying that wrong. This is not 6. This is 5. So that's 5 right there. So it's actually the difference right here is just 2. So this is 5. A mistake there. So 30 times 2. It's really easy. That's just 30. So our consumer surplus is 30. Okay, and then our uh, producer surplus is a much bigger. Okay, and so we're going to go from 10 to 60. So it's the same formula. One half. So 10 to 60 is 50 times, and then 0 to 5. That's much easier. 5. Okay. So that's going to be 250, and then half of that 
is 125. That's our producer surplus. And if you wanted to add them to add them together, you'd get the combined surplus or market efficiency. But that's how to take a something that looks like this, turn it into a graph, and then easily calculate out consumer and producer surplus.